Welcome back to our series on learning to program with Small Basic. In this video I'm going to take a look at variables. All programs work by manipulating information in one way or another and they refer to information as variables. Variables provide a place to store information and describe what it is. There can be many different kinds of variables in programming languages but Small Basic keeps things simple with either text or numbers. Creating a variable is very simple. Type a name for the variable then the equal symbol, and then the information that you want the variable to contain. To create some variables with numbers, we're going to enter the following commands, each on a separate line. Now, if we run this program, you will see that it runs without any errors, but it just disappears straight away. That's because we're not doing anything other than describing what these variables are. So let's add a couple more lines to show what the variables are. This should look familiar from the Hello World program in the last video, but notice that there are no inverted commas. This is because we want small basic to print the contents of the variable rather than the text that we put in the open brackets. Now, if we run the program again, you'll see the two numbers that we put in our variables. Now, variables can be changed in several different ways. Let's add 5 to number 1. We'll move to the end of the program and type number 1 equals number 1 plus 5. And then underneath this, we'll repeat the command to print the contents of number 1 so we can see what it's been changed to. When you're ready with this, click on Run. And you can see here the first time it's printed, it's number 5. And now the second time is 10, 5 plus 5. You can also do calculations using several variables at the same time. For example, let's add number 1 and number 2 together and we'll create a new variable at the same time called total. So beneath this we're going to write total equals number, number 1 plus number 2. And then under here we'll write another line to print out the contents of the total variable. And when we run this, we'll see that we've now got 16, which is 10 plus 6. All kinds of arithmetic can be used with variables, including multiplication and division. Variables can also contain text. In this case, you should type inverted commas at the beginning and end of the text. For example, we're going to create a variable called greeting, and it's going to contain our familiar hello world text. And you can print the contents of this in exactly the same way. And this will be displayed in exactly the same way as the numbers if we use the right line command again. Numbers and text can be combined into a single text variable by using a plus symbol in between the different variables and text. So for example, we're going to create a summary variable with a mixture of text and numbers. So now we're going to write our final line of the summary, which includes a mixture of text and number variables.
it is possible to group related variables together into what's called an array. These look like ordinary variables except for the number in square brackets after the name. For example, a useful array would contain all the different months of the year. There are several different ways to work with this month array. So the first way is you can just print the variable as you would normally, remembering to include the number within the square brackets. And you can see here, when we run the program, it will display January to us. Now, that's all right, but the trouble with this is if you wanted to include the month, you'd have to change it every time. Where arrays get very clever is that you can use a variable rather than the number when you're deciding which of the members of the variable to display. So if we create a quick variable called current month, and we're going to make that equal eight. Now we could type text window dot right line month and then inside the square brackets include our current month variable now when we run this program you'll see that it's displaying august because that's the eighth member of this variable this is skipping ahead a little to the next video but there are some ways in which small basic can be even more clever with the way that you can select items within an array so for example small basic knows what month it is and you can use this to address the array directly so we then create a new variable called small basic month and we're going to ask this to equal clock and then we put a full stop and then month so now we've got a variable that contains a number of the current month so if we write our text window command again but this time we're going to include the small basic month variable and run the program and you can see that it's displayed August again. Now where this is clever is that when it gets to September, that will automatically update to September and you won't need to do anything to change it. In the next video, we'll look at functions, how you can get small basic to do more things than simply arithmetic with variables.